Hi, I'm David Blattner from InDesign Secrets. I have a bunch of text here, and it's obviously data, and it needs to be turned into a table. By the way, I should mention that if you want, you can download this sample file from the links below and try this technique out for yourself. Now remember that in InDesign, tables are always inside a text frame. That is, they're anchored in a text story. And I want to turn some of this text into a table in the middle of the story. And to do that, I need the Type tool. Also, when I do this, I usually find it helpful to go to the Type menu and come all the way down here to Show Hidden Characters. That way I can see where all the tabs are in the paragraph endings. Now I'll just select this text. And you can see that I'm leaving some text above and below it, because in this case, that stuff isn't part of the table. And I'm selecting all the text from this first line with the headers all the way down, but not that final paragraph return character. If I select that, then I'll get a blank line at the bottom of my table. That's not a big deal, I could just delete it later, but I'm just being precise here. Now I'm going to open the Table menu and choose Convert Text to Table. The key here is that you need to know what the delimiters are. That is, what separates each bit of data. In this case, I have what's called tab delimited text. But if you have comma delimited, you would choose that here. Then it can figure out the rest. So I'll just click OK and boom, I've got a table. Of course, it's not very pretty, so we'll have to format it. And in this case, I've already created a table style. So I'll just click inside the table and then click on my table style. And this looks great, except, oh, I need to do one more thing. I'm going to select this first row by clicking out here, and then I'll go to the Table menu and choose Convert Rows to Header. Okay, there we go. So we've taken a bunch of raw data and we've converted it into a good-looking table. Also, I should point out, if you download this sample file from the links below, you can even copy this table to another document, and all the styles will come with it, so you can use this formatting in your files. Well, that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials. And sign up to receive our free weekly InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.